Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another nail polish haul. As I said, the spring summer nail polish is upon us and today I have the full OPI Fiji collection to share with you. They actually sent this to me. They sent me the, um, what are these called? Infinite Shine versions, which I have tried and they are really, really good. I personally prefer, I'm pointing over there because my nail polish is over there. I just prefer normal nail polish. And before I knew they were sending me the collection, I picked up the four that I was like lusting after. So I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm just letting you know what's up. <laughs> so there are 12 shades. I do know that there's three Ulta exclusive shades, which I saw in Ulta the other day. And I was like, what the heck? None of them look super amazing or unlike anything I already have. So as I was saying, there's 12 in the collection and I am almost positive that all 12 come in regular polish, infinite shine polish, and gel polish for the salons and such. So it's a huge collection. There's a lot of colors. Overall, not my favorite collection ever. There are some really beautiful shades. Some are like really nice formulas, but just colors I would never wear. But all in all, it's really, really pretty and I love spring nail polish. I'm like always ready. And look how satisfying this is. Like, yes. <laughs> so let's get started and if you missed my last video which was the Essie Spring 2017 haul I mentioned that I got these new swatching sticks which is really exciting so um anyway okay so I have swatches and okay I'll just shut up and we'll get into it <laughs> so first up is getting Nadi N-A-D-I on my honeymoon and this is one of the ones that I picked up in both shades I am so drawn to light pinks any time of the year any collection I'm always like yes light pink let me try it and when you swatch it it is like the perfect strawberry ice cream pink color it's an amazing cream finish it's shiny it's beautiful and I cannot wait to slap it on both my nails and my toes you know I like a color a lot when I want when I save it for a time when I'm getting my nails and my toes done and this will go on that list next up is a little bit of a darker pink this one is called two timing the zones which this to me kind of looks like a short store shorts story short story I don't remember what it's called it reminds me of that one and that it's a darker bright pink if that makes any sense but short story is one of my favorites of all time which is why I didn't pick this one up in the regular polish um, but it's swatched really really beautifully it'll be super pretty for the summer and um, if you're into pink then you'll love this this one had an amazing formula this is called living on the boulevard boulevard I'm not very good with these puns so far when I swatched this I was like holy cow that is amazing it's a really nice kind of like corally red definitely more on the corally orangey red side it's beautiful like I said that formula was incredible and I didn't pick this up because I have so much red nail polish coral strawberry red just plain red dark red you name it I have it all so I'm I'm always like keeping that in the back of my mind because also red is not something I wear a ton of unless it's like Christmas or Valentine's Day or something um, I mean I definitely still have my favorite reds that I'll pull out every once in a while but I usually reserve them for like winter and, and such so when they come out I'm just I'm careful not to buy them because I do have so much nail polish but I would consider buying it because it is an amazing formula. Next up is probably my favorite from the entire collection. This is called Polly Want a Lacquer. That's cute. I picked it up in the normal shade. This one looks a little bit darker in the bottle than the Infinite Shine one, but I'm sure that they're the same shade. It's just so beautiful. You give me a light pinky lavender and I am 1000% on board. It's swatched really, really nicely. This will also be one that's reserved for my nails and my toes. I think this would be an amazing color on pale skin year round. Well, this would be an amazing color on any skin tone. I always think lavender is just across the board flattering, but I am so excited to try this and I hope it doesn't let me down. Which, why would it? Purple's never let me down. Next up is so beautiful. This is called Susie Without a Paddle. This I didn't pick up in the normal formula because it kind of looks like gelato on my mind in bottle, which I kind of feel like I need to steer clear of all like minty light blues since I got gelato on my mind because that one is so good that I'll never reach for anything else, which is like pinpointing myself to never try anything new. But I swatched this and it is so beautiful that I was like, Ugh, maybe I have to go get it in regular formula. Or I'll just use the Infinite Shine. The only reason I resistant to the infinite shine is because I'm somebody who gets my nails done and I feel a little bit like extra coming in with like the primer the which I haven't even explained what this is it's like a three-step system so you have the primer then you add two coats of the polish and then you have the top coat and it's supposed to be infinite shine and they really does make them so shiny I believe the their um, length of they what they say is 10 days which I did try the infinite shine and it was incredible I don't know if it's supposed to help with chip resisting but it did like my nails did not 
chip. That's that's the only reason I'm resistant is because I get my nails done and bringing in the three-step system seems a little bit extra. But if you're somebody that does their nail as good at doing their nails at home, I say have at it because it, it lasts a really long time and they look really shiny just like gels, but it's not the damagingness of gel polish. But anyway, the swatch of this was so good that I am going to look into using it instead of just using gelato on my mind because it was so beautiful. Next up is another really pretty color. This is called, is that a spear in your pocket? Ooh, a little sexual. I feel like they've been releasing a lot of colors like these. It's kind of like a teal dark green, which they released one in the Washington DC collection, which I don't think I picked it up, did I? I don't think so. I picked up like the dark green, but I didn't pick up the one that looked like this because I have a couple that I love that are like pretty much exact dupes. And I, as I mentioned, I'm trying to avoid buying dupes unless I really, really need to. But again, it was a great, actually one of the, like the best formulas out of all these that I swatched. It was really, really pretty, amazing in two coats. Oh, it's good. It's real good. <laughs> Next up is Super Tropicali, oh my gosh, hold on. Super Tropicali Fijiistic. Super, super, uh, you know, I have to read it in the Mary Poppins song in order to understand it. Super Tropicali Fijilistic. Damn. Which I, I hate that that name is on a color that I will never wear. I am just weird about blues. Like, it's, I'm not weird about them. It's just not something that I reach for, you know? I wasn't drawn to this, but it was a pretty good formula. Not the best out of this collection. It's a little sheer, I guess. And the next one was also sheer. This is called Do You See What I See? S-E-A. This one looks super pretty in the bottle. And even in the, um, in the store when I was looking at the original formulas, it looked amazing in the bottle. I have one sort of like this, so I steered clear from buying it. And even so, I'm not super into metallic -y nail polishes, but this formula was so thin. I did three coats, and yes, it's a pretty polish, but like I can see right through it. So I was thinking if you were into this shade, you might want to double up. Not necessarily on top of this blue one, but I feel like these would look good layered. I didn't actually try it, which I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> but I think that would look really, really pretty and not make this so sheer, obviously. You could do like two coats of this, one coat of this, or two and two. Um, I don't know how that works with the Infinite Shine though, because they say only to use two coats. I'm sure it's okay if you use more, you're not gonna die. Or maybe you will, don't take my word for it. But yeah, those two I kind of felt meh about. There's one more that I feel meh about, but we'll get to that in a minute. Next up, we have some of the bright ones. This one is called Exotic Birds Do Not Tweet. It's a really, really bright yellow, which I steered clear from because I have a lot of yellows. You know what, this one looks like the sunglasses shade, which I can never remember the name of, <laughs> but it's just a really bright, bright ass yellow, which is super fun for summer if you're into that. I don't think my pale skin can pull it off. If you have tan skin and you're into yellow, it's, it was a really nice polish. For As far as yellows go, it was a really good formula. Next up is another one of my favorites, which I was dying over. This one is called No Tan Lines. It is a beautiful tangerine neon orange that I cannot wait to use in the summer when I have a little bit more color, but even if not, I love this. And I, this is one of the most unique ones in the collection. OPI releases oranges all the time, but this one is just so like vibrant. It's like there's a couple drops of yellow in there and I'm just really, really into it. It's beautiful and I cannot wait to try it. It's swatched really, really nicely. We're going to do the one that I met about second to last so that we don't leave on a negative for a negative note. <laughs> this is called I Can Never Hut Up H-U-T. On the nail blogs and the nail Instagrams that I follow, nail polish Instagrams that I follow, this is one of the most like sought after ones from this collection. I I'm just not into it. I don't know. I just, I'm not into it. It's a light gray with kind of like a teal shimmer throughout it, which you guys know I'm weird about the shimmers. I feel like they make my hands look older, which is why I'm not into them. And also just because I just don't like this color. But yeah, I, I think that's just me. The formula was fine. It was opaque in two coats. And it's also, it's confusing to my eyes because it's like you can only see the sheen in certain lights. If you haven't, you've tried it, let me know. The swatches of it look pretty good on other people. It's just not not my favorite. But one of my favorites, this is the last one, this is called Coconuts Over OPI, which is the best name ever. I did pick this one up in, um, in regular polish as well. It is an amazing light taupe shade, which most of the taupes I have are darker, more brown. This one's a little bit more on like the gray side. It's lighter. I'm so excited to try it. I don't really think I have any dupes for it that I can tell right away, but I am gonna, like I said, I bought these sticks. So I'm gonna swatch all of my nail polishes and do a declutter and like see which ones are exact dupes and which ones, you know, I'm just gonna go through the whole shebang and I can't wait. Such a fun weekend project. <laughs> but I am so excited to try this. All the blogs I've read and even when I was buying it in store, the lady was like, this is my favorite one. I can't wait to use it. I'm like, yes, it's so 
good and I love the name. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking my little face right up there in my last video, which is the SE Spring 2017 collection review will be right down there in that corner. Follow me on Instagram because I will Instagram any nails that I get done. I always Instagram my nails, so Follow me there if you want to follow up on how I love these polishes. You can also see that in my favorites videos because I always talk about nail polishes there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later.